Does your, does your camera, does your lens not zoom in? It's a wide angle. Oh, uh, do you want to hold, do you want to hold it then? No, I'm good. Hold it closer? Good. I'm good. Okay, yeah, just, yeah. Look at, look at, it's still on focus, how close yeah, it is. Yeah, there it is, yeah, that's really dope. Yeah. And it's, there you go, yeah. Nice. Oh my God, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome back to the channel. It's Joe. Come back to you with another video, guys. Today, we're doing a beer brewery crawl. We're going to check out all the breweries located on Brewery Row here in downtown area. There's five that's located in the Arts District, and there's two that's kind of in the surrounding areas. So we're going to check those out first. Also, Ken with KG Images is going to be joining me. So guys, let's go drink some beers. This one is on Bonanza Boulevard or Bonanza Avenue. So this one is not linked up with the other ones on Brewery Road. But we stopped here first to check this one out. I told Corey, Corey's a really cool dude. He's the, he's the uh, bartender behind the bar. And he recommended this one called Dutch. Now this is a Belgian style ale. This one is 9% IBV. So already we're getting started with a, with a strong one already, guys. And like you said, this is a very good one. It has a little bit of fruity undertones, which is, this one's an easy beer to go down. I don't think it's one of the ones that they brew here because not only do they brew their own beers, but they also have guest beers from around the world also. And I think this is one of those. All right guys, well, we got Ken with KG Images joining me on this little adventure, this little brewery bar crawl. What's up brother, how you doing? What's up man, how you doing? Once again, how you doing? You ready to get your drink on? Uh, yeah, definitely, yeah. definitely. I like, little, I like the little ideas like this because uh, we get to experience parts of Vegas that I don't really think about much, but uh, yeah, no, I'm excited. This yeah, man, fun. let's do this. And and I get to hang out with drunk Joe. <laughs> you think I'm getting drunk this time? Oh yeah, oh yeah. Well, guys, you guys you think drunk, I'm getting drunk? <laughs> I'm gonna get you drunk. Wait till the end of the video. Let's check it out. <laughs> So guys, I just finished my beer. Corey, thank you for the great recommendation. Guys, check out Tonight Creek Brewing. It's a dope little spot to wet the whistle. My only issue with this place though is the location. The location's a little off, but hey, you can't win them all. So guys, let's move on to the next spot. That Hefe was a very good Hefe. On to the next brewery. spot guys 
and we were headed to Beer District Brewing, but you know what? They changed their name. They're now Neon Desert Brewing now, and they're still part of the uh, Brewery Row of the city of Las Vegas. So we're gonna check them out. Uh, the bartender, she recommended me this uh, stout. It's called, <laughs> it's called Coconilla. Coconilla is what the name of it's called. And what it has, it has, uh, it's toasted coconut, roasted pecans, and vanilla beans. This one has a 10% ABV. So this is another strong one, guys. So let's try it out. I feel like I'm drinking a wine, and this is full flavored. This is more of my style, a stout beer, full flavor. Mm. This one is tasty. I taste the coconut in there. It is a little, has a little nutty flavor to it. This one is solid, guys. This is a good one. If you like full flavor beers, this is a good one. All right, Ken, we're at our third spot, Neon Desert Brewing. We're still going along strong. How's it been going? It's been going just fine, man. Yeah. It's really, really fun being You've out been here. Been enjoying your beers. Yeah, yeah. So definitely the Banger uh, Brewery was my favorite. That was the one previous. What did you have there? Uh, had the Banger Triple. Okay. It's right. really good. Really good. All you thought right. I forgot, well, didn't you? But I thought you were a Jefe guy. Why didn't you get the Jalapeno Jefe? No, I'm not a big fan of the Jalapeno one because it's disgusting. <laughs> and anyone who loves that, Joe, anyone guys, who loves that is terrible. Guys, I loved it. Yeah, he loves it. And I don't understand why. It's like, why would I want to taste Jalapeno on the back end of my beer? It doesn't mm, make any sense. So good. It's terrible. All right, guys, that's gonna do it here for Neon Desert Brewing. I'd like to thank Katie, the bartender, and Jim, the brewmaster, for their hospitality. Such nice people here. Guys, if you're ever in the Art District, head a little north beyond Charleston. Check out Neon Desert Brewing. They got some great, great craft beers here, guys. Brewing. Abel Baker Brewing is located on Main Street, actually in the Arch District. I got the Honey Dip Imperial Stout, and this is the one that's brewed in the uh, rye barrels. So this one has 12.4 ABV, guys. Let's try it out, see how it is. Oh my. Definitely a full favored beer. A little hint of sweetness because of the rye, I think. It's not too bad. I'll tell you right now, this is not for everybody. Ken got a similar beer. He does not like it. Guys, Abel Baker is packed right now. Super busy. We had to sit outside. It's kind of cold today. So we're going to wrap this up pretty quick, drink this one, and move on to the next one because I'm, I'm freezing. <laughs> the bartender was also kind enough to give us a taste of the original Imperial Stout because I guess they have different versions of their Imperial Stout. This is just the regular one here. This one's pretty good, guys. Very smooth, a lot smoother than this one, actually. I do have to admit uh, that the, just the original Imperial Stout is a smoother beer. The one that's brewed in the rye barrels has a little bit of a bite to it. So I'm actually enjoying the normal one. I wish I, I think I wish I would've got this one, actually, as a full 12 ounce beer. But oh well, I got, I got a little taste of it. So we're at our fourth spot. We're at Abel Baker Brewing. We got some stouts. Ken thought he could hang with the stouts. But it looks like Ken, Ken's not gonna drink a stout, guys. I'm not gonna drink my stout because, I, like I said, every time you try it, it tastes, mm. no. That tastes worse than NyQuil, I'm the original. You, taste the little one, taste the little one. Tastes just the same, it's No, terrible. it doesn't, it's a lot smoother. It's a smoother one. No, no, so. I know that he bought this round. I'm just gonna pay him back for this one. I'm gonna scratch this off my list, <laughs> and we're just gonna go from there because nice. I, bro, I if I drink this, everything that I've eaten and everything I've drank so far is gonna come right back up, and I'm gonna have to cut this video short because 
I gotta go home. Ken did not complete the gauntlet, guys. I did not because... He's gonna be one beer short. Unless I can go get these switched out. I think I'm gonna try to get these switched out. Then, and only then, we'll continue on. So guys, Ken traded in his Imperial Stouts. And he got, what'd you get, Ken? Okay, so I guess it's a control, control girl, or whatever the name, whatever the name of it is. It's a, it's a wheat beer. What? With you don't even know the mango. name of it? Come on, bro. Something like that. I, I saw are the you gonna, and I completely forgot. How are you gonna do your video I, and not know the names of the beers you're drinking? I will get the name for the beer, but this one tastes much better than that. What, kind, what kind of beer is it? So it's a wheat beer. It's a wheat beer? Yeah, wheat beer. You can't handle these uh, no, nice, cannot, strong stouts? No, no. Come on. No, and I will not, cannot, ever will. So sorry. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for Abel Baker. I also want to point out that this is one of the first breweries that actually has a full kitchen. So there's food inside here. So if you guys are hungry, not only can you drink here, but you can also get some food. So, guys, we're gonna walk down Main Street and head on to the next brewery. There's no lie that Nevada Brewworks is probably one of my favorite breweries here in Las Vegas. I went with something a little different. I got their raspberry sour. I'm not a sour drinker, but the bartender recommended that. So I'm gonna try that. Getting a little bit out of my comfort zone, trying different beers. Maybe I'll like it, if not, no doubt. Nevada Brewworks, love the place. But guys, the manager on duty right now, not allowing us to record inside, so there's not gonna be too much footage of the Nevada Brewworks in this portion because the manager is not allowing us to record inside. Sorry guys. Well, let's try the beer out. Guys, this is sour as fuck. <laughs> if you like sour beers, Ken's gonna try it out. If you like sour beers, get the raspberry sour. Man, that's sour. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> guys, not my typical style of beer, but it's all right, guys. Nevada Brewers, you know I love you guys. All right, Ken. We're at our fifth brewery. We're over halfway through. How you feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good, man. Yeah? Five beers? We're going to make it through? Pretty good. Oh, yeah. We're going to definitely make it through. This is, I got to sure. admit, this is, this is a lot easier than the uh, nine drinks on Fremont Street. That one... With the Jameson to seven, I felt like it was a, a little a little rougher to do. Yeah, I would imagine. I mean, beer is just consistent. When you start doing Jameson and tequila and all that other stuff you guys are doing, yeah, I can <laughs> imagine you wouldn't last very long at all. I knew in that video that you weren't gonna last very long. <laughs> so guys, we're over halfway through our brewery beer crawl, and I gotta admit, guys, I'm feeling okay again. Once again, I'm halfway through, I'm feeling okay. I'm drinking my fifth beer. Ken's on his fifth beer. Well, I don't know. Well, that's right. You are in your fifth beer. I am. I did. Because, like... Uh, I just switched out the last yeah, one. Yeah, the last one. Like the last one. Ken switched it out. Okay. All right, guys. That's going to do it here at Nevada Brew Works. I got to admit, I'm not a sour fan. So, but I did drink it. It is what it is. I'm trying to try different beers or whatnot. So, guys, we're headed to the next spot, which is Huddle Brewery, which is basically right next door to Nevada Brew Works. As you can see, guys, like it's really, it's literally like right next door. Soul Belly is in between, and then the next one is Huddle. Let's go check it out. You ready? You ready, Ken? Oh, I'm ready. I'm always ready. by a nice young gentleman at Neon Desert Brewing. He recommended the Vanilla Oak Stout. I got the Vanilla Oak Stout Nitro, 
which is it's six percent ABV. So I'm excited to taste this. He said it was really good. Let's see how it is. Oh man, that is nice. I ain't gonna lie. Super smooth with a hint of vanilla. This is a great drink, guys. This is great. Alright, well, I'm gonna order it because we're gonna finish this and then we're gonna skip on. Okay, this is seven Alright, guys, we're done with Huddle Brew here. This vanilla oak ale was super good, guys. I highly recommend it. Also, I wanna say thank you to Lisa and Skip. They were super nice, guys. They let us go in the back, check out their brewing area, guys. Thank you so much, guys. You guys rock. So, guys, we're headed down to Craft House Brewery. We're just walking down Main Street after we dropped off some... Uh, growlers to the car. Some growlers to Ken's car. Ken keeps Brian's souvenirs. <laughs> I have to. Like, it's just my thing. Like, So we had to stop. I don't think anyone else is in interested in that, but I like collecting growlers and steins. Like, it's a thing. So we had to stop at his car and drop those off. Next. Also, we checked on my car to make sure it's okay, too, so awesome. So next up, guys, Craft House Brewery. Silver State Blonde. Not my type of beer, but you know what, guys? It wasn't too bad, actually. I could recommend this beer. It's an easy drink if you want to drink something. So, guys, we made it seven breweries down. We got one more to go. We're headed over Hop Nuts. Ken, how you feeling? I am feeling amazing. Guys, I ain't gonna lie, guys. This was pretty easy to do. I feel fine. I may be a hair buzz, nothing crazy, but guys, we're headed over to Hop Nuts, and we're gonna close this out. Hell yeah. So guys, we made it to Hopnuts Brewing, guys. I hope it's still open. It looks pretty dark in there. Let's go check it out. We made it to our last brewery on Brewery Row. Made it down to Hop Nuts. And I'm trying the Lead Dog peanut butter stout here at Hop Nuts Brewery. Let's try it out. It's recommended by Liz, the uh, bartender. Let's try it and see how it is. This is pretty good, guys. Smooth drink, hints of the peanut butter. Super good. I'd highly recommend this one. We made it down to our last spot here. This is our last brewery. We made it down to eight breweries, Hop Nuts. What'd you get? The Belgian White beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, because the wheat one seemed a little bit extreme. This is like my eighth beer, and even though I'm not necessarily buzzed and or drunk, I, it's just it's just a little bit. I think I've had enough. So this is the last <laughs> one, and I'm so happy. Guys, we made it through, guys. So happy. Eight breweries, eight beers, we made it down to Hey, uh, Brewery Nick, Row in Las Vegas. Nick, we made it through eight beers and no, like, ridiculous antics. Like, going down the escalator. <laughs> Yo, that was pretty cool, though. I ain't gonna lie, that was pretty cool. 
Guys, that's gonna do it, guys. I finished my last beer at Hop Nuts. That's eight beers at eight different breweries on Brewery Road here in Las Vegas, guys. We did it all. Me and Ken completed the task. And guys, I ain't gonna lie, I feel okay. I am not that buzzed at all. This was this was fun. I enjoyed a lot of new beers here in Brewery Row. I just learned that that lead dog peanut butter style is not part of Hopness Brewing. It's actually one of their guest beers. So, but anyways, it's a super good style, guys. So if you're coming inside here, check it out. Guys, I want to point out that these guys have been doing the same thing that we've been doing today. They've been hitting every brewery that we've been hitting also, guys. You guys over here, guys. But yeah, all right, YouTube channel will hold this way because it's so soft, pagey. Yeah, that's right. Ken made him in the bathroom, so... so. <laughs> Don't let that be public, man. <laughs> all right, guys, so we did it, guys. We drank eight beers at the eight breweries on Brewery Row. And guys, I feel fine. I feel fine, guys. So guys, if you're ever in Arch District or in the downtown area, guys, Check out the breweries on Brewery Row. There's also some other breweries also. There's some tap houses out here also. Check those out. Guys, you won't be disappointed. So guys, that's gonna do it for the video. My name is Joe, and you just watched Straight Out of Vegas. So if you're feeling that vibe, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell, because you'll be notified when I release future videos. Guys, I thank you for watching, and I'll see you. I'm struggling, guys. I'm being very transparent. This is not like a fake channel where we lie and just to make, just to get the views or try to get the likes. I'm struggling. I got a half a beer left to go, and I'm, I'm hoping I can finish it. That's it. <laughs>